Get ready for the next battle. Crystal Maiden. And of course, you can just chakra magic onto Envy to make sure he doesn't run out of mana. So, oh, and Fisher is already dropping low. The Frostbite's going to come in. Ferrari stuns him up, but he doesn't have another nuke. One more second, but the Fisher comes in first. No, he gets the SF before he may just die. The Fire Spirits is taking him away, but he's still alive. Meanwhile, Big Daddy No Tail chasing down Chuan. He does have another Fisher up in just two seconds. The second redemption, never mind. Mystery says hello. Those towers, but this will be the, really the first time that IG oh. try and push uphill. But Fada's in the perfect spot to be able to see that one. Fada almost popped that full ultimate there. He did use the BKB, which is still a bit of a win for IG if they manage to force this fight anyway. Bone seven. Dropping a little bit of fire there, uh, Ferrari bumping forward, but the blinding light to push him back, as well as a Fisher. Now Eternal Envy actually jumps forward quite aggressively here. They are going to be able to get a really good gyrocopter ultimate on the side. The egg goes off, burning turrets and trying to dress it. Will be able to get it in time. Eternal Envy on the right side. He gets dueled up. The egg explodes, but Luo is taking out Queen of Pain, so the egg doesn't matter. IG have won the fight right outside of the Roshan pit. You couldn't ask for a better situation. But, all right, they, they willingly went in there with... They think they might have an advantage with Cold Slam. Oh, oh, he gets oh, Echo Slammed immediately. There goes the ultimate stun up Misery. They're going to now try and chase down No Tail as well. Luo, he doesn't have a duel for another 10 seconds, so he won't be able to stop No Tail just yet, but it doesn't look like it matters. Ferrari on the other side gets the stun, and two kills turns into another two as they attempt to end up feeding away a more. Don't stop Roshan at all, as Burning manages still up for another two minutes. Cloud9 have to play. They have to go in there. Sure enough, there goes the Echo Slam. They're gonna try and burn this Aegis as soon as possible. Burning just doesn't care. He pops the BKB, pops the Satanic, and now he's healing back up to full with Fodacon as well. This kill score evens up, but IG are perfectly set to just win the whole entire game with this push. That is going to have to be two buybacks coming out from Cloud9. I don't think they can hold either of them. They can try yeah. to hold Shaker for 30, but they're going to need the Fisher to put any sort of pressure out of the fight. And there we go. There's the buyback from No-Tail. They want to conceal the one from Fata being available and maybe get a fight. But they haven't even scratched Burning, and they used a lot of key abilities. This is like... This is just over. They can't touch him. Yeah, they really can. Eternal Envy is going to be stunned up now by Ferrari with the Blink Dagger. Trying to hold him still. Luo comes in and will be able to get the right clicks necessary. Now an egg laid out. They're going to try and fight around that one desperately, but the egg can't afford to go down. It looks like Burning is not going to get it. The egg stuns them both. And now Burning oh, wow. falls. All right. This is going to be perfect. They're going to kill Burning a secondary time here. He does not have the BKB. Easily controlled. And Cloud9, just like that, are back in the game. Yeah, so Burning's going to be the first one. The front lines here, Cloud9 have to deal with him first. And he's got Butterfly, he's got the Satanic, BKB, the uh, the upgrade, That's the Solar an Press. Blink envy. That is really, really aggressive. Yeah, looks like he's just wanting to try and blow his buyback here, but Fada's been jumped in the background. Ferrari wants to kill him first. It looks like Burning completely agrees. The duel goes on to Eternal Envy. He's down, instant buyback. Fada is in some trouble, still being slowed down by Ferrari. Echo Slam on both the cores. Now with the Fisher potentially going out, no tail blocks in Burning, but he just doesn't seem to care. He fights away with the Satanic. He's keeping himself alive through all of this. He will go down eventually, but it's just the ages. Can they still turn this one? IG, ready for the reinitiation. They're going to come in and try and save Burning. Behind enemy lines, Ferrari, the first one forward, eats his cheese, gets the stun on Fada. Now Burning trying to help him out. The SF is dropping low. He does manage to get away. The Icarus, there it is. The egg saved the Aghanims, but they're going to try and kill the egg. It's about to drop. The stun's going to go off, and they did it. They saved Fada. They get the stun. The IG are all low. This could be a total wipe. Burning fighting in the middle of everyone. He gets three, but the constant hits of Fader are just too much to handle. It's only Luo to survive as he blinks himself away. Dragonite in 10 seconds. It feels like it might only be the Gyrocopter who's forced into a buyback if Cloud9 forced this one. Luo is taking a bit of damage there as Cloud9 now focus on the melee racks at bottom, but here comes the initiation. Chuan moving forward. Misery's already dead. The rest of Cloud9 are just looking to escape, but Bone Seven's not going to get out either. Two picked off, maybe a third. Fada forced into the BKB, does not have a TP out, and Chuan's just going to be able to run right there with him. Gets the Frostbite, and now he's just kiting around while the rest of his team is looking to be able to catch Fada. Oh, they have the buyback on Misery. Can he actually get a recall here? Fada's going to be able to get off the ultimate hits on three or four, but it's too late. He He's already surrounded. There's no way there's a recall play. And sure enough, IT In the span of almost half an hour, and he's still looking very strong. Oh, this is dangerous. Get the duel on no tail. He is screwed, I think. Yeah, there's the attempted save. Oh, no, the supernova didn't actually save him. I think he tried to grab Big Daddy No Tail. 
But unfortunately, that supernova doesn't snag him, and it's going to be kind of fruitless here. In fact, that hunter seconds that it's down, IG, they may just choose to try and push in as they just got another one. Before this, he can't afford to die. Luo, he has the opportunity to blink forward soon. Chuan's going to hold him. Misery is going to be going down here. Looks like no saves from Cloud9. Two supports down, and it's left just up to the course now to be able to defend the base. They have it. Yeah, the range racks are already down bottom as well as middle. They're already focusing on that melee rack. Spada jumps forward, but he's instantly stunned up. They just continue to go for the buildings. In fact, burning, he's even committing all the way. He may just be forced into BKB, though. Force staff gets him out. IG will start getting themselves out of here. They claimed one of the buildings there. Nice defensive call down. Very well placed. Oh, but another aggressive play for him. Don't tell. He has a big echo set, but is it going to be enough? Final it's Lucy Ultimate, but it's not enough to kill anybody just yet. Burning is being brought lower and lower, but the Shallow Grave is there. And now Fada is going to be the one who dies instead. IG, they take down one, two, three, and there it is. They're able to push uphill, and all that's left is the SF buyback. Just and trying to set up and bait them into an Echo Slime, which he managed to do decently. Yep. But it just wasn't enough damage. And now Fata is going to look at his last barracks falling. It's all yeah, over for the song, Fada. Oh, there's the Supernova save. Nice play, but it looks like IG will be able to kill that egg before it explodes. And that means they both end up falling. There it is. GG from Cloud9. They fought to the bitter end. Razor. Lewis only got the right clicks available and won't actually be able to go for the kill on Misery due to the lack of mana for the battery salt. Bottom lane. Yeah, they managed to get the stun. No tail's gonna end up falling here. The anchor smash isn't gonna be able to make this on time. I think Lua will be looking for a play. He's got the hook shot jumping. Oh, oh no! no! Oh, 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 and now oh, he's oh. stuck up on the cliff to eternal empty mercy. And we know Iisama has no mercy. Now he pushes back the rest of IG. Cloud9 still looking to take that Roshan, though. It's at 1500. I love what Cloud9 are doing here. No rush to try and finish up Roshan. They're telling IG, if you want this fight, you can go ahead and have it. You're four versus five right now. Unfortunately, Unfortunately, the Chen creeps are going to start pushing them back. There goes the heal in order to make sure those creeps do stay alive, and they kill the Nether Ward. Now Cloud9 are being pushed farther and farther down that river. Look at Fada's positioning, though. There goes the open. Ravage is well being pumped. Ferrari right in the middle of the but there goes Fada from behind! He takes out two supports and almost gets burning as well, but now he has to run himself ahead of that Raga Barrage. The rest of Cloud9 starts swarming in, though. Bone 7 looking for the gush. Slows down Ferrari instead. Burning on the side, trying to get away from Fada, but the man finds him again. Fada, hoping to be able to get out, a blink up in a second, and he still gets away. Fada with the plays. IG, though, the rocket finishes him off. Luo in the middle of four, though. He plays a very dangerous game. Is he going to be able to get away from it? The last right clips are there. IG. Not aware. And, well, at this point, it is up, so. I'm really playing aggressively here. I'm surprised each IG are letting them do this. They're actually getting the whole tower. They really are. There's still no initiation from Luo. He's sitting on the side here, ready to go. Ferrari is going to have some of his damage stolen away by a Eternal Envy, his ultimate already used, the Eye of the Storm, looks like they're making a full commitment here for this melee oh, rise inside the vice. Oh, Burning in some serious trouble, there goes the double ultimate, and Burning does fall, no and he does not have a buyback, but what a cog there! Lua Lut traps in two, can they actually take advantage of it? Vada finally goes down, Faith is out, IG may actually just lost this game entirely from one fight! Three heroes down, only one of them has buyback, there goes the melee racks, as well as the range, and Cloud9, just one laner for Axe, when it, when it comes down to it is huge when this game felt so even. Uh-oh, Eternal Envy's just been spotted out. The Telkinese has stopped his TP out, but he's good. He actually has the movement speed to keep himself ahead. Ferrari is way up far forward. Side the is going on him. Misery's being brought a quite low. Eternal Envy turns around for that damage deal, but maybe he's just put himself in some serious danger. He's going to turn, fight up against Burning. There goes that Sonic Wave! They get a carry for a carry with Misery on the side for IG, but Lua's still going to go down. He cogs back Fada. They lose Misery, but Ferrari's trapped inside the trees. So his only out, way out is through oh, One or two key ultimates from C9 and not get blown up in the process. That's probably what they're looking for, but... Never mind that, let's go in, says Envy. Yeah, Ferrari puts himself on the front line to be the target. Eternal Envy, though, has stolen already 168 damage and will turn that damage right into the Tier 3 tower. Glyph is popped for the time being. 
Eternal Envy does get stunned up by the rocket. Tier 3 tower is going to be falling soon. Ferrari again trying to draw that damage. Waiting for the initiation. There it is. Hot burning. He's already down and out. Ferrari turns to fight up against Eternal Envy and using his damage, but the AC is actually helping keeping Eternal Envy alive. And now he's damage draining him away. There goes another ultimate. Burning is going to fall a secondary time. 90 seconds on the clock for our carry from IG. The rest of them trying to back away to the fountain. Vada. Ooh, nice TP back just in time. But Ferrari, can he get out? It doesn't even matter. IG say GG. And we're going to a game three. That one fight and base pushed. Lena. Okay, yep. so yeah, I wasn't seeing things that were or the other way around. <laughs> Oh, um, we're talking about the gank in middle already. Misery's coming in from behind. They're going to be able to land the stun, follow up Split Earth, and Ferrari, this should be our first blood. It's the lightning and the lightning. For the Yules, unless burning, what does he have on the courier right now? Does he have any of the components? But it comes okay. in. There's already a tombstone laid out, but it's worth it if they can burst down burning, but it's not quite enough. The Soul Rip keeps him alive, and he turns around the look to play. Big Daddy falls in well. Misery's going to come through. Choo Choo, Light Strike Array. He actually hits Misery, and Bernie's going to survive. He gets away, and Misery falls. Double Scythe of Vines, Necro Book. <laughs> All right. I'll stay. Do you think it's too late for an Aghanim? Oh, IG. He's actually managed to get the Yule Scepter onto Misery, but they're just trying to back themselves away ahead oh, of those birds. Oh, whiff. Yeah, Super Luo. With it on that one. Faith is going to be brought low by the Orca, but not quite low enough. He turns around, gets off the Tombstone, but Luo has been hit by the Split Earth and will end up going down. There's a buyback here from Burning, and they're going to try and take this fight inside their own jungle. The ultimate goes out from Ferrari, instantly blowing up Big Daddy. Burning also coming in with the Yule Scepter, catching internal ending, and this will be a success successful buyback, it seems, by being able to get the pick off on Eternal Envy. They're doing their very best to force this buyback from Foxa, who really does not want to use it as now. He might have to. No tail go. Jesus, but that's double ultimates. And Misery coming in with the charge. It seems like with those double ultimates used, there's no way IG can really fight once the last rack is up, despite a 4 versus 5 advantage. But at the very least, they'll get this tier 3 tower. And are they going to make the full committal for this melee racks? Cloud9 need to try and come in defense soon. Ferrari, sure enough, he's going to be starting force back. Misery gets the lockdown onto Burning, trying to eliminate him first. But where's the follow-up damage? Fauna runs right through. Rainbow Pony coming through. Managed to take out 1, 2. And now going over third, third on Ferrari, who's sprouted up, trying to right-click down uh, Eternal Envy. Managed to get off the cheese, but it's still not enough. He ends up going down. Now Misery gonna be the next target. IG have lost three and they just lose a fourth. But Misery, there's their turnaround. Bone seven coming in with another sprout. TP out faith. The drop down from the familiars isn't there. If they get a really big pickoff here, this could be them going all the way uphill. And they've already targeted Ferrari. He's not gonna expect this one. Hit from the trees. Locked down. There's the side device, but they managed to throw out a glimmer. Cape Double survive. Our turtle ending almost goes down to the pure damage by himself. The right clicks will end up finishing him off. Blue fighting up against two, but he will go down. Ferrari gets off that ultimate, but Fada's now run out of the BKB. This leaves Burning, able to be able to right-click him down and also catch through Misery. No, the charge right through. He gets away. Luo you can already see Bone Seven kind of scrambling to get whatever he can by heavily pushing down that bottom lane, hoping to get some damage on the Tier 3 tower. Yeah, degree you, you went into. You know, thank you very much. But it's, it's a little bit different than that. Burning. Has well, he's still a little bit of math for you. IG, 5, minus 1, equals 4. Can they still win this fight? IG, and pop the BKB. Ferrari's going to try and right-click down Eternal Levy, get it off the ultimate. Misery's just not getting lucky with those bashes. Eternal Envy will fall, but first he gets the Rubik. Luo, blinking for it, does manage to lock him down. A Ferrari also getting hit by that Splurt Nuri, and Luo even getting sent to buy stuff. That's three. Sprout is going to give it away. The flying vision of this should be enough to give Cloud9 all the info they need. Are they going to back up in time? Oh no! The Blink oh. Bash catch up on it. They're going to lock down two. One, two, out. Cloud9. This feels like a fight that they simply cannot win. Tier 3 tower slowly but surely going to be chipped down for enough. The telekinesis hits two with the sonic wave. Bone 7 is going to be the next target. He goes down as well. They have buybacks, but the racks are going to fall anyway. IG just right clicking down real quick. We have the first TP in. Big Daddy trying to slow them down. Cloud9 has to catch him, but Big Daddy already getting blown up by the Laguna Blade. Rory pops his BKB. Now turns on a Feta. Gets off that ultimate, forcing back the rest of Cloud9. Eternal Envy stealing away his damage, wanting to be able to target these heroes. Lou actually gets hit by the Orc, and it will be blown up. He goes down, but buys the SF time to get out. The rest of IG on retreat. Faith may be caught here. He's he doesn't have any kill. escape. He's got two gems. Oh, Jesus. Glimmer Cape. Is he actually going to get away from this? Hide himself away, yeah, but Eternal Envy. Yeah, Plasma Field will be able to catch him. That be the final fight right here. Look at Claude 9 They're setting up here in the trees. But if they get caught into a bad fight, Ferrari leading away. Twan leading with the telekinesis. They're going to go to support this time. They managed to get off the BKB. Oh, in what time. a coming from oh, that Twan managed to relive a little bit longer. Fon is right in the middle of everyone with that ultimate. They've locked out Ferrari. They're going to be able to take him out of here. He's down for 
Steel Tron was looking for, by the way. It's like the worst spell he can steal out of any. Absolutely. There goes that tier 3 tower. IG, they get a force staff back. Slowed down by the lightnings, but they'll be good. Eternal Envy on the front lines with the BKB blown. And now that's the opportunity IG we're looking for. They're going to blow up Eternal Envy right away. Fod is already low as well. This could be him dying twice. Oh, no. When you have to run to Big Daddy, he's going to be able to catch him out as well. There goes the ultimate. Fod pops a BKB in time. Hey, can he get anything out of this Octarine core? It's just not enough. He's life stealing so much. Sort of wasted. And then they have him, so they can't even counterplay that one. Really, really big. They charge coming in. They're going to go straight for burning. Already leading with the side device. The force back away. They're going to be able to get off the BKB and the Glimmer Cape. Burning survives and will be able to get off his host of abilities. Look good to play on the Eternal Envy brings him all. Sonic Wave as well. Double pure damage, baby. That's what we're talking about. Misery comes in. Life sealing up a little bit. Burning trying to take him out. Last couple right clicks. He needs it so bad, but he can't get it. Burning survives. Fawn is now fighting up against three, but he can't afford to die here. He goes down. No buybacks on Envy. No buyback on Fauna. And IG rampaging through Cloud9 one by one. Another core down without buyback. That could be just IG winning the game. Yeah, they're going to have to fight this three versus five with Bone7 being their only core up. That sounds damn near impossible. Cloud9 going to have to perform miracles here. There goes the two sets of racks. They're left with only the range. Big Daddy already blown up. Double ultimate being used by him. Burning Brunt low, but Bone7 gets caught again. He goes down to buyback from Big Daddy. It's not going to be enough. It's just the two supports fighting for their lights in this tournament, but there's the Mega Creeps, and there's the GG. Cloud9. It happens again. Two of the toughest teams going into this